Destiny, Speck. Malfunction. Oh, you can talk. Malfunction. Need input. Input. That's information. Look. Look. No, no, there. See? Oh, beautiful. Light bulb. No sun. Beautiful. No sun. Beautiful sun. Isn't it? What was the purpose of that piece of communication? I am practicing social conversation. I presume you are here for damage to your mental circuitry. Malfunction. Oh, you can talk. Malfunction. Need input. Error. Press up or disassemble. Reassemble. Huh? Reassemble. I can't reassemble him. You squashed him. He's dead. Dead? Right. Dead as a doornail. Reassemble, Stephanie. Reassemble. I know you don't understand. But when you're dead, you're dead. It's just the way it is. Dead is forever. Squash. Dead. Disassemble. Dead. Disassemble. Dead. If the question is survival, then Saint is the answer. It is quite simply the most sophisticated robot on planet Earth. Adaptable to steaming jungles and burning deserts and frozen Arctic wastes. <laughs> Well, of course, it's adaptable because it's a robot. Well, one thing we can't control is the weather. The man upstairs is still in charge of that department. So why don't we just move our little presentation back into the lab? Identify that atmospheric phenomenon? Yes. Rainbow. Function of a rainbow? Unknown. Are your optic senses designed to pick up all the colors on the spectrum that the human eye can detect? Yes. Plus three additional colors. We would be mechanically compatible for many similar functions. The same thought just crossed my grid. I do set my bow in a cloud, and it shall be for a token between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud, and I'll remember my color which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. Goodbye, Tin Man. Oh, don't cross. You don't rust so dreadfully. Here's your oil pan. Goodbye. Now I know I've got the heart, because it's breaking. <laughs>